Hello, my name is Francis Malman. I'm a chef from Argentina. And right now I'm in Patagonia, a land of dreams, of magic, of mystery. A land where I was raised and where I learned cooking. And I'm very, very proud, honored, and happy to be traveling to Singapore very soon, where we're planning to show the magic of our lifestyle, because the food in Argentina is related to a lifestyle. We love to sit down for lunch. We have long talks, you know, we talk about soccer, politics, the beauty of life. And then we enjoy the most incredible wines that you will taste as well. My childhood was very important in that because I was raised in these mountains in Patagonia. And as child and children, we lived in a house that was ruled by fire. But then suddenly I went to Paris and I started cooking in all the three-star restaurants, and I sort of forgot about all that. But at 40, when I received a prize in Paris for my cooking, I suddenly felt sad, and I didn't know why it was, and I realized that it was because I had to change my way of cooking. So what I did was sort of kneel down and pick up the tools from my childhood, and all those fires, and all the cooking of the natives, and the cooking with fires of the immigrations in our country. And I started to create this language that is very, very related to cooking with flames and with coals, even with ashes. Yes, they do, all around the world. All my restaurants are ruled by fire. We have domes, we have planchas, we have wood ovens, we have grills, we cook in the ashes, which is called rescoldo, and we cook as well many times under the earth with very hot stones. So that's the mystery of our cooking, you know, all these techniques. And in a way, um, some of them sound very simple, but it takes a very, very long time to learn the language of fires. It's a language that you learn by standing in front of it, using your hands, your smell, your taste, your, the sound, the, the sound of the fire, to make all the decisions that will take you to a good recipe. If you close your eyes and you think about Patagonia, the beautiful mountains, the incredible pampas we have where the, we raise our cattle, um, and the technique that we use, which is related to the natives. Some of those techniques are 11,000 years old. So the menu we're planning for the Fullerton Hotel in Singapore is related to um, a spread of how we eat. Our delicious salads, our very good soups, the meats and the fishes, and we love very sweet things. So you will be able to try dulce de leche, which is our national dessert. We use it for many different things. So if you expect a, and you dream about coming to Bissas Dust, you will have all these incredible different tastes that are related to our culture. I'm not a chef who likes harmony. I like contrasts. I like, I like clashes in the mouth when you eat. And especially our national sauces like the chimichurri, which is done with oregano and chili and garlic and olive oil and vinegar. I think that goes very well with our meat. I think that diners will be surprised with that. The contrast is the clashes that you have in your mouth when you eat, obviously with the delicious South American wines. During the meetings we had for, for last during last year, I had this feeling that they would they were very respectful of the romance of our thoughts towards cooking. And that's very important for a chef, you know, because I think that romance must prevail in cooking because it's related to love, to care, to you know, respecting the products and all that. And that's what I felt from the very beginning talking to the team of the Fullerton Hotel. I 
always say that potato is my most beloved lover because, you know, sometimes I find these beautiful potatoes. They look so delicious in their skin that, you know, I almost feel like sleeping with them. Uh, and I admire potatoes because they change so much. They produce a delicious, humid mash. You can make a very crispy french fry. You can cook them in the oven. You can get something crunchy in the outside and melting inside. So the potato is sort of this beautiful dress for a chef that can, you can take you anywhere. You can do so many different things and it has this elegant, humble way of saying, here I am. So I'm looking forward to my visit to the Fullerton Hotel in Singapore and I hope that all of you as well.